Hey folks, Paul Markle with Student of the Gun here, and today we're going to talk about building an RFID, that's Radio Frequency Identifier, or a Faraday cage, or a Faraday shield, or a blocker. Uh, lately, there's been a lot of talk in the news about the government tracking you via your cell phone. Uh, and whether or not you have the privacy thing on, if it's still receiving messages, it's still pinging, and it can still be tracked. Okay? And people say, oh, well, just pull the battery out. How many of you can pull the battery out of your phone without destroying it? Not very many, right? All right, so if you're someone who cares about or is concerned about your privacy, I thought, well, what can we do potentially? Well, we could go to crossbreedholsters.com and we could pick up one of their ARC protector bags. Now, the ARC resistor bag um, is it resists superior EMP and electronic resistance. That means this bag will not allow electronic signals to get in. And so, by process of elimination, you would think, well, if signals can't get in, can signals get out? I don't know. That's a good question. So here's what I'm going to do. My, this is my experiment and my hypothesis. I'm going to go ahead and take you know, one of the art bags. They come in this a box like this. Uh, this is actually the uh, a moisture uh, desiccant packet that you would put in there. Now, these bags are really big. Uh, and they, they hold a lot of gear. And, and I we've tested these before and we've actually talked about them. And they are tremendous at keeping out corrosion and so forth. We we packed up a gun, a knife, a flashlight, a bunch of stuff in one of these, stuck it in a bug out bag, stuck it up on a shelf for over a year, pulled it out, and everything inside was pristine. The ammunition wasn't corroded, there was no rust on any of the steel. So I'm pretty impressed with these bags. Now, here's here's your average phone, right? You've got a phone right here. You don't need a giant bag for this phone. So what am I going to do? All right, step one. I'm going to take this bag and let's say, uh, how much do I need? Well, I've got my little marker here. I've got a marker. And all I need is a pouch about yay big. So I'm just going to lay my phone down on this. And I'm going to trace. I figure how much I need. I'm going to trace around it with a felt tip pen or a Sharpay, if you will. I'm going to leave myself, leave yourself a little bit of extra room because you're going to want to seal this. So I'm going to leave myself a little bit of extra room here, right there. And now all I have to do, and the great thing about these art bags is, is you can cut them up and you can seal them. And I'm going to show you how to seal the edges. So handy dandy pair of scissors here. And I'm just going to cut a line. All right. So what I just did is I, I cut a miniature pouch out of my arc bag. And you say, okay, Paul, now you've got, now it's, it's wide open. And, and what are you going to do? Aha! I have preheated this Proctor and Silex iron. Now you can do this with a, a flat iron hair straightener if you want, or you can just take a hot iron, and I've got it set on the, the really hot cotton linen setting, and I'm going to stick it on the edge here, and I'm just going to count to 10 or so. Or maybe I'll sing my ABCs, or maybe I'll tell you a story about Jack and Diane, or I don't know, lots and lots of stuff. So I put that on there, I hold it on, and these are just heat sealed. That's as, It's as simple as that. So heat seal, and let's check it. Seems like it's sealed right there. Now I'm going to seal it on the edge right over here. I don't want to seal it too far over because obviously I still want to be able to put the phone in there. So like again, I'll tell you a little story about Jack and Diane, two American kids growing up in the heartland. All right, Jackie was going to be a football star. Diane's debutante in the backseat of Jackie's car. Yes, indeed. And if you didn't know that before, you certainly do know it now. So, there we go. I've sealed it. You seal, seal, seal. All right, let's see if it's, if it's sealed all the way because it is heat sealed. There we go. All right, so what I just did, let me stick the scissors in here, make sure it's 
All right. So I sealed it on three sides and I still have a flap. So what I can do, hopefully, is uh, I can take my phone and I can drop it in here. Of course, this phone here has a rubber pouch. So I'm going to take off the rubber pouch. Take off the rubber pouch and I'll just drop it in like so. Drop it in all the way. All right, it's all the way in there. Now I can just take this and you say, well, do you have to fold that over? Well, technically, no. Uh, you can take a piece of tape or whatever. Now this is relatively small, it's not tiny, but the fact of the matter is, you could take this and you could slip it into a bag or a pocket or if you're a lady, a purse or whatever, and now your phone is completely protected by an arc bag for EMP resistance and electronic resistance and corrosion resistance and all that good stuff. So, there you go now, I'm, and I'm going to test it. This is the very first time I've done this right here for you guys. So uh, what I've done is I've created a foam pouch uh, for my, my iPhone in this case out of an arc bag with an iron and a marker and a pair of scissors. I hope that you found this useful and if you're looking for something like this, it's super simple. You just go to crossbreedholsters.com, you scroll around and you find one or you just type in arc resistor bag and you pick yourself up one. You can protect all of your valuable stuff against corrosion and EMPs and all that. So, This is Paul Markle from Student of the Gun.